Hello, hello, welcome to Wesley Gaming, and today we're going to show. Uh, I would say it's just going to be replayed. I'll put at a double speed so you can see the strength of the deck and uh, possibly something to learn from from it. I hope that you enjoy the episode and uh, thank you for your support for the Wesley Gaming YouTube. Uh, so that not more people actually notice about the channel and you can see this person is running a mortal deck and it's actually very difficult for me to deal with the mortal get a lot of chip damage so I decide to put a backward furnace so the mortal uh, cannot uh, attack me Wow, but Ice Spirit actually can take 2 hits now, wow. That is actually a big nerf to Fire Spirit, if you ask me. I think I add my, my arrow hit everything, so that is actually really good. And that's a tower down. Now, Mortal is actually uh, really bad because I can actually counter at immediately at the bridge. Uh, wish to clean off the bats and actually... Yeah, I think if given more time, maybe I will get the 3 crown. But since opponent is defending, so yeah, that's no way I can get get the juice. Get the 3 crown for the uh, crown chest and uh, to get a bonus in my in my stats. This is against a P.E.K.K.A. Magic Archer. It's all level max all the opponent is having. So it's actually not going to be easy at all. Start off with a furnace as usual, but now with the increasing of balloon decks, maybe I need to actually pay attention to uh, the furnace placement. And Magic Archer, the minion able to get a little bit of trip damage, but this guy is, is fake as a level 12, but all his cards, even legendary, is a level 13. Maybe for the for purposely the person to want to level up. But I think if you can level up, you must level up because it's actually good advantage. Now here I actually go for graveyard. And I think that's tower down. Actually I don't need to spend the minion on the left tower. Yeah, I, I also don't know. Now my, my knight is actually really unfortunate. And he even Ewis. I believe that will be tower down for me because the Ewis is actually countering me. Yeah, no, but this one I'm actually not really convinced with the action. Graveyard, more of the graveyard action coming in for because the King Tower is actually really tanky. It will not go down easily. And I clean off everything and I take a little bit of damage. Now I got my perfect. Uh, offense of a knight and graveyard push in the middle yeah this this is actually really strong about graveyard because you put the knight into the middle to tank both the king tower and the princess tower now this person is going so aggressive even bend it in the middle and the pika actually crank knock off the tower two to one This is against a max level spawning deck. As well, but I think this person actually played really well. His furnace is actually really quick. So it's, like, it's actually really dangerous, trust me. Now I decide to go for graveyard because the goblin hut is actually at the at the behind, so my graveyard actually can get cheap damage on the on the goblin hut as well. Now he missed the witch, so the mid actually got two hits. But fire sprint are now really tanky. But it actually can chip off a lot of things like mini packa I was always. But now the furnace actually bumped into my fire sprint and hit my furnace. So now he revealed that he's a golem user with spawning. So I the Pekka goose for the tank and I kill off the the golem uh, very easily. 
but spawning that always is difficult to deal with. He has a lot, a lot of thing. Fireballing the witch does not kill, so it helped me to clean up. And I throw down another graveyard and throw down the tower, and I think that's going to be GG. Minion doing a lot of work against his goblins. And even the Pekka in the middle. Oh, the Pekka only got 2 hits and that is a GG. And I'm actually not happy with that. I was hoping the opponent would give up to def giving up from defending. And now against the Long Bay deck or arrow bait, whatever you want to call Princess at the behind, so I answer with a knight and he answers with a knight with his own I use ID to trip away at everything Do I arrow? Yes, I do arrow So now, the, due to the Tesla placement, I can actually go opposite lane And now I got significant Alice advantage Now this is the best graveyard timing you can ever possibly hope for. I arrow, yes, I arrow everything, and that is almost tower down. Oh, that is actually tower down. Now I decide to ignore the barrel, but the barrel is not something that you can mess around with. It deals like almost one thousand damage to your tower. That is insane. But now if I'm doomed to defend, that would not be that difficult. Kill off the princess, even poison again. But I think at one point of time he actually played really well. Nope, it's not this opponent. Now my units are start to stack up and there's no easy way of defending. Two witches on the tower and that's 2 zero. Even the opponent is is amazed of that, I believe. No? Nope. 32 trophies, juicy juicy The loss I will not play This is against another golem player Yeah, if you can see from the reason nerf golem is actually getting uh, un very difficult to deal with So that's actually a nerf on the, on the golem And I arrow everything yeah, this is actually a bad play because I actually wanted the the Pekka to tank, but but the Pekka is keep moving out of range from the baby dragon, so it's actually difficult. Now the open lightning or what? Golem? No. I throw down the graveyard, but the lock definitely do a lot of work against me. Now actually opponent has Alisa advantage, which I think I'm not aware about. Okay, but actually he jab and throw down the tombstone, so we are actually completely equal. And now I try to go for another another tower, but I don't think at this level of time that is actually possible. The golem die actually very quickly and the knight is tanking for everything. I think baby dragon is actually overrated. Now we've got two packers on the golem. Two we just uh Yeah but I'm actually really angry that opponent is still defending. Throw down a defensive packer. And I want to cycle to my uh, graveyard. This opener is actually lightning, it's actually a good play. And golem at the bridge. And I just throw down arrow and that's GG. Against the reason balloon deck. Yeah, this is one of the easiest match that I can think I will think about because the opponent's uh, deck is Completely illogical. 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 Why you say that? Because if you are running balloon, you don't have zap, you don't have a snowball, you don't have a freeze. How are you going to make it work? 
you can see the the balloon actually got zero hits on my tower, and I got the full HP in for no dragon. And a completely healthy furnace, but the arrow. So now I got a little bit of advantage. And Petka against the Valkyrie is complete win, and the five spring to jump onto the tower. And you can see I defend the balloon against using the ID. It is so easy to defend. Minus got chip damage, and he balloon again. Now I use ID. Yeah, this you can see is completely shut down. Another balloon. Another easy defense because the opener I thought he's running freeze, but he has nothing. Now this is against a, a giant double prince with Kiwis as the the control. Yeah, there's a battle at the bridge and a hijab, so I think everything is almost equal. And he even minor to my tower, so I got 3 at least advantage. But I didn't expect him to have ID so quickly, that actually terrorized me. And I play really bad because I don't really know what to do at this juncture. So my tower is actually bruised and I'm actually down right now. He actually choose to take down my tower. So I am actually towered down but I got a little bit of Alyssa advantage. And this person is trying to go for 3 crown, he's a madman man. But I blocked the Ewis, that is a really pro play. I can take down the tower and I got a huge counter push. He got so much of fireball value guys. But the fire spirit is actually chipping at the tower. Now you actually decide to go opposite lane. But I don't know how to delay the the giant and the prince. So I just throw him out of furnace and that's GG. And the last is actually against a, a balloon player. Balloon executioner. This opponent is actually just throwing down everything that he has without any logic. He's running executioner without the tornado. Yeah, it's just uh, not a good call to play like that. But no matter what, this person is just level. I make a mistake of arrowing, I believe. If I don't arrow, the witch will clean up and I will have a significant Alyssa advantage. I defend the bronzes with my knight. And the Pekka to absorb everything. Yeah, this is a bad play by me. I should either throw down a witch or whatsoever, or even a uh, arrow. Yeah, I believe opponent get zero damage on our tower because this push is really difficult to stop. And I clean up almost everything, but the opponent actually still want to defend, so I can't get a 3 crown, and I'm unhappy with that. So, this is a, a strong ladder push, and I'm, I think I'm 5.6k, the new league is rich. Wow, that is actually really easy for me. So, I believe I will climb uh, very quick, and I got a mega lightning chest incoming, that is uh, really juicy. See you soon in my next video. Bye and peace out. Namaste, gaming.